Hello Libra, welcome to another love reading. We're gonna be looking at what's going on for you in love and who you might be dealing with, what are their energies like, as well as what can you expect next. As always, these readings are meant to be general, so they will not and cannot resonate with every Libra watching. So take what resonates for you, what applies to your situation, and leave the rest. All right, for Libra spirit, what messages do you have for Libra regarding love? What do they need to know, spirit? Any guidance messages for Libra regarding love at this time? What do they need to know at this time? Messages, please, for Libra. Okay, let's see what we get for you. Wow, starting off with the Two of Cups. Two of Wands. And the Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Wow, okay. Um, Two of Wands, a path needs to be chosen here. We'll have to clarify that to see what that might mean there. But Two of Cups, this could be a soulmate. This could be somebody that you meet or someone that you're dealing with that you just connect with on a deeper level. Um, you just, the I don't know, it's, it's unexplainable. I'm getting that um, either you're not used to having this or you've never had this with someone else, something like that. It's very different, whatever this uh, connection is between you and someone, whether it's an existing connection or something coming in. Let's see what else we can get here. Tell me about this Two of Cups spirit for Libra. Why is the Two of Cups here? Knight of Swords, some sort of communication coming in. Someone expressing themselves to you, telling you the truth of their feelings, the truth about how they feel uh, towards this connection. What else do we need to know about this Two of Cups? What else do we need to know? Wow, Ten of Cups. So this is really special, Libra. I feel like, and then there's the Six of Swords. I feel like someone could be visiting you here. Maybe this is a long distance connection or someone's just traveling towards you or has been away from you. Bottom of the deck, we have the world. Jeez, you can't make this up. I feel like if this is an existing connection, there's some sort of shift happening where you're moving into a new cycle, a new level, a new stage of your connection. Um, if this is someone new coming in towards you, I feel like things are going to move um, maybe into commitment. Maybe there's going to be a progression in your connection that makes you very happy. And it's because of honesty. It's because of, of the truth being exchanged, of someone being open with how they feel. Tell me about this Two of Wands. Why is this Two of Wands here? What do we need to know about this Two of Wands? What do we need to know about this Two of Wands? Oh, I got two. Wow, the wheel. Yeah, there's some change happening. And the Page of Cups. Someone's definitely expressing their feelings towards you, Libra, and I feel like it's starting things, it's changing things, it's progressing. I feel like whenever this message comes through, I feel like you're going to be thinking about the future. It's like you can't help it, but think about the future. Some of you could be dealing with a person who had to make a choice. Um, and they decided to choose you. And they told you, I've chosen you. I've decided that this is the opportunity I want to go after. Tell me about this page of cups. Tell me about this page of cups. Why is this page of cups here? Why is the page of cups here? The five of cups. Ooh, someone could be apologizing to you, Libra. Maybe it's a small apology with the Page of Cups, or it could just be that someone doesn't want to live with regret, so they're being completely open and vulnerable with you. I feel like this person could also be missing you. So some of you are dealing with a person who maybe you are long distance, you don't see each other very much, something like that to the point where the, where this person has to miss you. 
And the fact that they're missing you just reinforces this idea that they do have feelings for you. Let me know in the comments if you are currently speaking to someone that makes you feel this way or um, you've had conversations like this where it's like someone has admitted how they feel towards you and it's something that makes you happy or that makes you think of the future. Because I feel like there's someone out there that this message is for. And I love hearing from you guys. Okay, so tell me about the Queen of Pentacles. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? Ah, that is way too many. <laughs> I'm going to put that back because that was a sloppy shot. Ooh. I think pretty sure that was the King of Swords that wanted to come out there. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? The Queen of Pentacles doesn't play around. There's the Devil. Capricorn energy with the Devil. And then the King of Swords is Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. So when I see the Devil, which is typically a card about restriction... Um, lust, desire, temptations, etc. Uh, when I see it with a card like the King of Swords, it's like someone's being very honest about something that might be unhealthy or might be an unhealthy mindset or might be a temptation, a desire, an addiction, or might be just something that they don't normally like to talk about or admit or address, but they are going to address it because the King of Swords, they are very direct uh, very open, very uh, intelligent, and they don't BS the King of Swords. I see you very pleased with this. It's like someone's trusting you with this information. Eight of Wands, Ace of Wands, yeah. And I think it just makes you stronger as a couple. Or it just, once again, cements this like whole idea of things moving forward, you know? Maybe someone had this problem in the past, but they've addressed it. And they've been very honest with you about how they're addressing it. Okay, and one more for this Queen of Pentacles. What's going on here with this Queen of Pentacles? What's going on here with this Queen of Pentacles? Some of you, this is a... Um, hmm, I'm getting this message. This is not for everyone, but it's, it's like someone is dealing with a person who was considering a job offer or something to do with their education something to do with the way the it had something to do with where they were headed in life and they had to make a choice and they decided to be very honest with you about it and honest with themselves about what truly would make them happy in the end for some reason you're going to be very happy with their choice tell me about the queen of pentacles why is the Queen of Pentacles here? Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? Four of Swords. So someone is healing, reflecting, thinking. I think this person, they're not going to take action until they're able to talk to you about something. Um, or, you know, they have healed from whatever ailment or situation was hurting them or affecting them in a negative way. I feel like someone did the right thing here. That's all I, I feel like that's what's most important to like point out here is that someone did the right thing. It might have taken some time, but they did. Or this is the right choice, the right approach, etc. What else do we need to know about love for Libra? What else do we need to know? Or Libra. What else do we need to know about love or the energies surrounding love for Libra spirit? What do we need to know. Oh, we got several. Chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. True love. This is the romance of a lifetime and forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. Oh yeah, there's definitely like a strong connection here. I feel like this is someone that you feel very connected to, that you have a lot of feelings for Libra and vice versa. And for some reason, you're moving past a problem together. Um, that's what I'm getting here. Forgiving and learning from your past, healing. And, you know, this is this is what you want to hear. This is what makes you happy in the moment. What else do we need to know for Libra? Breathe in. 
meditation healing rest oh yeah i feel like something in your connection is being healed or dealt with addressed um maybe it's a problem that you had between this person yeah happy ending that's like the ten of cups so everything's going to work out here i feel like this is something that you were wondering about and i feel like they are going to be addressing things in a way that makes you happy it's like you're happy that they're de dealing with things in this way so for example, if you were dealing with someone with an addiction, then they're dealing with it by going through the necessary steps. If this is someone that, you know, maybe they were influenced by the wrong people, they broke off those connections, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. That's kind of how I'm seeing these energies play out here in like real scenarios, you know? Okay, so let's look a little bit at your person's energies. Tell me about this person's energies towards Libra. What do we need to know about this other person? What are they thinking, feeling when it comes to Libra or this connection? What do we need to know about this other person? What do we need to know, Spirit, about this other person? We have justice. There you are, Libra, showing up to your own reading. The Six of Wands. Oh, yeah. And the Eight of Pentacles. <laughs> Basically, this is someone that did everything right. Um, if they're coming in from the past, you know, if they're coming in after a separation, if they're coming in after some time has passed, then they're coming to you correctly. You're very happy with the changes you see, or you're just very happy that they're so focused and fair to you. If this is someone that you're just now meeting um, or you, someone that you've recently connected with and your connection is growing, um, you see all of the, the right things. It's like you, this person fits with you so well. They match you so well and there's success. You can see the success because they're putting in the effort, you know, um, and this makes you very happy, Libra. I see you kind of like... Again, I get that the for some of you out there, um, it, this isn't common for you with the people that you date. Um, but for some reason, this person's different. This connection is different. Can we get some insight on this uh, Eight of Pentacles? What do we need to know about this Eight of Pentacles spirit? What is this Eight of Pentacles about? Ten of Swords and the Three of Cups. Yeah, it's almost like whatever... Um, I think that um, with the Ten of Swords and the Three of Cups, it's almost like I'm getting like a reunion, a coming together, a talking things out. I feel like things might have possibly ended for some of you or for others of you. You were thinking about ending things or maybe there was something going on that you didn't like and you made that known to this other person. But I think you were able to work it out because they're serious about you. Tell me about justice and the six of wands. Why is justice and the six of wands here? Five of pentacles. Okay, and then what's this? Nine of wands. Yeah, something something must have happened here. Yeah, the three of swords. I think something happened where this person might have made a mistake. It could have been a small mistake, a big mistake. I don't know, but they are being fair to you or are making things right or doing whatever it takes to make things right um that's going to be different for all of you what happened you know some of you might be something small but it was a red flag others of you it might have been a deal breaker and you were like i'm not cool with that i'm telling you right now that's this is not going to be something that i'm okay with and this person took that seriously i'm speaking to a libra where when wherever there was a problem or if there was a challenge or obstacle in your connection this person addressed it i am not speaking to a libra where this person ignored it or blamed you for it that's not what this energy is um so take you know take that into account all right let's see can we get some insight into this person's energy what do we need to know what do we need to know about this person that libra is has or will be dealing with spirit. What do we need to know about this person's energy? I feel trapped. My heart belongs to you. You make me happy. Ooh, interesting. And bottom of the deck, I would take it all back if I could. Yeah, okay, so this I feel trapped. I feel is because this person 
Oh, okay. Okay, I'm getting a few messages. My heart belongs to you. You make me happy. I would take it all back if I could. I feel like this person, they weren't okay with the fact that they did this to you. Um, I feel like this person, um, maybe they felt stuck because of their own actions. Um, maybe they felt stuck because they were dealing with an addiction or something that was really hard to disentangle themselves from. Or maybe they just felt stuck because they didn't know what to do when they realized they could have lost you. You know, I feel like this person, it was almost like, oh no, <laughs> this is not good. I need to address this. Um, I need to make an effort. Basically, I'm speaking to a Libra where this person proved themselves to you in some way. And if that's resonating for you, let me know down in the comments. Because I feel like this is someone that proved themselves to you in, in a very significant way. What else do we need to know about this person's energy towards Libra? What else do we need to know? False person, number eight. Ooh, I feel like this person might have been dishonest with you. Yeah, adjudication. So basically, when you when this person showed themselves to be something they weren't, or maybe they hid something from you, or downplayed something, or deceived you in some way, you made a call right away. And they were at your mercy, this person. They didn't like that position. Let me tell you that right now. Um... They did not like being put in that position. Um, that's very interesting. So let's look at the potential outcome here. What can you expect next? Spirit, what can Libra expect in the near future? What can Libra expect in the near future? What can Libra expect in the near future? can Libra expect in the near future? Eight of Wands, some sort of movement, action, Seven of Swords, Hangman, and Judgment. Oh, okay. Bottom of the deck, the world. So at first, I would, I, I'll be honest, I saw the Seven of Swords, I'm like, mm, I don't like that energy because the Seven of Swords could be this false person energy. Um, but I feel like whoever this is, you already know um, what the issue was. Five of Cups is here, the Devil's here, Four of Swords is here, and even over here when you were looking at like their energy, the Ten of Swords showed up, Nine of Wands showed up, Five of Pentacles showed up. So I feel like this is part of the issue is that I feel like you guys are talking about the problem with the Eight of Wands. Um, and with judgment um, and the hangman, it's almost like someone saying, I'm seeing things differently. I understand why you have a problem with it. I understand why this was an issue for us, etc., etc. And I would like for us to try again and improve the situation judgment. Because I feel like this person needs to earn your trust again, Libra, for you to even consider this world energy. The world's at the bottom of the deck. So this is all about closing chapters and starting new ones, new cycles. It's about graduating. You've learned everything you've learned with judgment um, and all the different lessons from the major arcana, and now you're stepping into the world. So I feel like all of this is just you guys, you and this person, um, communicating and moving forward or deciding whether to move forward. Um, some of you, maybe you haven't made that decision, but others of you, I feel like you did. And I think you're going to be happy with the outcome because I feel like this is someone that they're, they've done something to earn your trust or to prove themselves. Tell me about this eight of wands. Tell me about this eight of wands. Ace of cups and the empress. So yes, I do see that whatever communication or action is being taken, whatever progression is happening here with the eight of wands, it's towards creating, manifesting, and having new love, um, emotional fulfillment. Again, I'm not speaking to a Libra that's dealing with someone who they haven't learned their lesson. This person has learned their lesson. Other, you know, If this is someone that, for example, didn't learn their lesson, then why are they proving themselves to you in this way, in the way that you would accept? 
right? Most people, when you have issues with them, it's because they don't want to see things your way. They don't want to listen. They want to be in denial and, and play the victim and point fingers, you know, like they don't actually want to work on the issue. Um, but this is someone that's very different. This is someone that I feel they met you and you were different and they were probably still doing the same thing they've always done and it bit them in the butt and they actually were about to lose something good and they decided no i need to act right i need to shape up that's that's the libra i'm talking to okay let's get some more insight into their energies here can we get some more insight into what they're thinking feeling here with towards Libra, towards this connection. What do we need to know about this person's energy? What do we need to know, Spirit, about this person's energy towards Libra? These two. The grass wasn't greener on the other side. This one keeps coming up for people. And we will be together again. Yeah, like they're, they're not going to lose the one good thing in their life. What's at the bottom of the deck? Words can express how much I care for you. I was saying that they definitely learned their lesson and then my phone started. My alarm went off. I forgot I had set an alarm, so it interrupted my do not disturb. Sorry about that, Libra. All right, let's get a stellar guidance oracle. Some advice from Spirit. Spirit, what do we need to know for Libra? Any messages or advice that you have for Libra? There is a purpose. Number 24. Any other advice, guidance for a Libra? What does Libra need to know, Spirit? Make a change. Oh, yeah. This is for the Libra whose person made a change. Who they knew they had to make a change. Bottom of the deck, you are protected. This is from my Stellar Guidance Oracle deck. If you're interested in any of my Oracle decks, they're linked in the description box. So that's what I have for you, Libra. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Um, starting with these batches of readings and from now on, I am not going to be doing extended videos for every single sign. I'm only going to do extended videos when I feel like there could be additional guidance or messages or additional clarity that you could get. And I feel like we got very clear energy here. Um, so I'm not going to do an extended for this uh, video. But um, definitely I feel like this is somebody who uh, has made a change and it's for the better. You know, your connection will improve because of it. So I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for all of your support. And I'll see you in another video very soon. Take care.